Hello everyone, my name is Katrenza and welcome to my guaranteed pen boss gear guide for Black Desert Online. I hope you find this guide quick and helpful. Thank you for watching. When you exchange your pen to Vala gear for a Tet Boss gear by speaking to Jatina, that same Tet Boss gear has a method that can guarantee it to pen at 100% success rate. To do this, you must upgrade it five times with five different reform stones. I will explain how you can obtain all five shortly. First, to begin you must be level 60 or above. Start a short questline by accepting a quest called A Cry for Help that can be obtained by talking to the Black Spirit under the suggested quests. Obviously, I can't get it anymore since I have already completed it. Once you finish this short questline, your next step to getting all five reform stones begin. These stones are the material you need to enchant your gear all the way to pen. They are very easy to get, so I'll try to simplify the method to get them as much as possible. First, talk to Jatina to get a weekly quest for the piece of armour or weapon you wish to enchant to pen. For example, my chosen piece is Beg's Glove, so I pick this one. Pick the quest that corresponds to the gear you wish to get to pen. Now you need to complete this quest to get your first weapon reform stone. This weekly quest requires you to give her two latent auras. These latent auras can easily be obtained by killing the world boss of your choosing. Since I pick Beg's glove, I'll have to kill Beg as either a field boss or from the Dark Rift normal or Awakened Scrolls. To give you an idea of when your chosen boss is going to spawn, you can either join the Black Desert Online boss discord or use the website Velia's Inn. Don't worry, link to both will be in the description below. Once you kill your chosen boss and get your two latent auras, you can then complete the quest by talking to Jatina. She will give you 115 concentrated boss crystal for two latent auras. Each weekly quest will reward you with 115 concentrated boss crystal. These boss crystals are one of the key ingredients in making your reform stones. Also, this weekly quest resets every Thursday at midnight. The other ingredients you need are the following. One rough opal. You can obtain this by mining or with your worker nodes. You can also buy this off the marketplace, but they are in quite a high demand, so you might have to wait a bit to get one. Then you'll need 20 magical shards. This can be obtained by heating yellow grade black magic crystals using the processing mechanic. 60 concentrated boss crystal, which once again obtained by the weekly quest for two latent auras. 10 concentrated magical black stone, which can be obtained by heating a hard or sharp shard with a black stone weapon or armor or you can just buy it off the marketplace. And 50 memory fragments, which you can just buy off the marketplace. To be perfectly honest, I never have to buy any of these materials off the marketplace at all, with the exception of the rough opal. Just by logging in, the attendance's reward alone will provide you most, if not all of the materials you really need. Once you heat all the materials together, you'll get your first resplendent reform stone, this is the first stone required to upgrade your gear to reform level 1. The recipe is the same for all gears, except the crystal and black stone that is reflected by the gear you want to upgrade. Each reform stone requires more effort and cost than the last. The materials will cost more, but the procedure will remain the same with the exception of the last pen reform stones. That one requires additional materials of 30 concentrated boss aura and one aquila crystal. You'll also need different tier of opals. Polished opal, brilliant opal, and moonlight opal can all be bought at the marketplace. Do yourself a favor and just buy the opal off the marketplace since this entire process is time gated. At the absolute max speed, you'll get everything done at about three weeks time. To obtain 30 concentrated boss auras, you need to do simple alchemy on a tri boss gear. The boss gear must be of the same boss name as the guaranteed pen that you desire. Here is me destroying a tri peg gloves worth 1.4 billion silvers. Yes, I almost cried and so will you. For the Aquila Crystal, first head over to Jatina again and accept a quest called Resplendent Weapon or Armor Reform Stone of Aquila Sky or Earth Crystal. Pick one that corresponds to the gear you want pen. For this quest, you must exchange a certain amount of an item called Aquila Piece of the Old Moon. This item can be purchased at any old moon, manager NPC with straight silver. This NPC is located in every major city. 
Use the NPC Finder and type in Old Moon Manager. It will directly set a path to this NPC for you. Simply exchange your silver for the amount required. Your first guaranteed pen boss gear will be the cheapest to get. Your first pen weapon will require 30 Aquila piece of the Old Moon. This cost 1.5 billion silvers. Each time you need another Aquila for your second guaranteed pen weapon, the price will increase. This is also true for your first pen defense gear. Your first pen defense armor will require 80 Aquila piece of the Old Moon. This cost a total of 4 billion silvers. Each time you need another Aquila for your second guaranteed pen armor, the price will increase. Here is what I mean. Your first guaranteed pen gear will be the cheapest. If you want to do this method again for a second guaranteed pen boss gear, the required amount of Aquila piece of the old moon will also increase, therefore the amount of silver required to purchase increases. This also doesn't include costs of other mats, such as memory fragments, black stones, black magic crystals, and the 1.4 billion silver tri-boss gear that you'll have to process for the boss auras. To be really honest, I think the guaranteed pen method is only worth doing once and only for the defense gear. Also, if you are having trouble picking which gear to choose for your first pen, the best choice would be the Red Nose Armor, since you can upgrade it to Pen Kafras level 10 and turn it into Fallen God's Armor. Do not pick Dim Tree as an alternative, since it requires more Kafras than it does Red Nose. If you already have the Fallen God Armor, then you can pick either the Griffin's Helmet or Beg's Glove, which can be upgraded to Labreska's Helmet, and the New Dawn's Glove coming in the land of the Morning Light expansion. Keep in mind that your new boss gear will be bound to family and can't be sold at the marketplace. However, the chest and helmet can be upgraded to Fallen God's Armor and Labreska's Helmet, which can be sold. I believe that covers everything I wanted to say. I made this guide because every single other guide covering this topic takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes when it's really not that complicated. Even though this guide is quick, I hope that you find the video helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will try my best to answer your question. Once again, thank you very much for watching.